Today I wanted to show you how you can make your own balloon garlands. Whoop whoop! Hi friends, today I'm so excited to show you how to make a super easy balloon garland. I'm a huge fan of balloon garlands because they are super cheap to make and they make a huge statement and I'm gonna show you a really easy way I've tried a lot of different ways to make balloon arches and garlands and all of that. And so today I'm gonna to show you the simplest method out there and you will be amazed how quick and easy it is. What you need to make this balloon garland is you need string. It can be any kind of string, yarn, ribbon. I mean, you can use anything. I just like a really thin string, something that moves really easily. It doesn't matter what color it's gonna be because it's gonna get all covered up by balloons. If, you want, if you're worried about it matching, get a matching string. So your first thing that you need is string. You're also gonna need balloons. Depending on how big your garland is, is how many balloons you're gonna need. For me, I'm doing three balloon garlands. I'm gonna do one going down, one going across, and one going down. So it looks like an arch, but it's actually three separate garlands. So I bought around 300 balloons and that should cover it but depending on what you're going to do i'll show you later on the road how to figure out how many balloons that you're going to need for your length on balloons i like to use just a 12 inch you can use any size balloons you can do small ones big ones mix them all up together i just use the 12 inch ones and it's turned out great and then you're also going to need little kids hair ties i just bought a big pack at walmart for a dollar and these work great you're also going to need command hooks. These are my best friend. I seriously love command hooks. So you really don't need a ton of them. So for this big project, I'm only doing three command hooks. I'm going to do one at the top to hang the garland there and then also to go across. So I'm going to do one, two, three command hooks and then that will be enough. And there's the balloons are super light and everything, so command hooks work super great. And then something else I would recommend, it's not a must, you can use your mouth and blow up all the balloons, you can use a hand pump, but I'd recommend an electric pump. This is about 15 to $20, and it is worth every single penny, especially if you're planning on doing a couple balloon garlands. Trust me, once you make one, you're gonna wanna make more because they are so fun and easy once you get the hang of it. So you get your electric pump and then this will save your fingers when you are tying knots. This is a little balloon knotter and it's awesome. I'll link everything below too, so if you have any questions on products or what I use or stuff, it's all there below. First things first is I like to blow up all my balloons. As you can see, I've already done that for convenience wise, but I'm gonna show you how easy this pump works. So this is how you this works. You put your two fingers in it and then you tie it and you just pull it and it's in a knot. It is that easy. And I'm gonna go ahead and do another balloon. You're gonna go ahead and blow up all of your balloons so you have those ready to go. And I like to do a couple different colors in my balloon garlands. You can do one color, you can do a bunch of colors. It really doesn't matter. Once you have all your balloons blown up, then you're gonna go and grab two balloons. They can be two of the same color, two of the different colors. It doesn't matter. And then you're gonna grab the ends and you're gonna grab one of your hair ties and you're just gonna tie these two ends together and I like to go below the knots if I can and get that but you're just going to tie the two balloons together and toss them with the rest of your piles <laughs> until you have all of your balloons paired up. So now is the fun part. You're going to take your string and you're going to measure how long you need. I like to start mine off with a little loop knot because this is what I'm going to use to start my garland. So I want to do this whole distance. I'm just going to start it. This is where it's nice to have a little partner to help you measure it out, but I just am going to leave it there and measure this whole width. 
And it doesn't have to be exact because you'll actually want extra. So once I get my length, then I just add like an arm's length extra and then cut the end. So this is the fun part. You're gonna take your loop and make sure you have a little bit of excess on it. And you're just gonna take your balloon clumps and you are going to start your string. I just put it right underneath and wrap it around. And then this is the only time I'm going to do a knot. Once I've wrapped it around the balloons once, I'm just gonna tie this in a knot so it's secure. And then that's my first starting point. What I like to do is I just like to kneel down on the floor and then I just grab another bunch and you just put it right on top. So if you want, you can stagger it like this or you can have it, you know, so it's not as staggered. Just know the tighter that you push your balloons together, the more balloons that you'll need. And it will also make it a thicker garland if you want more of a looser look or something like that. But you just go ahead and just start topping them one on another and just loop it around once. And this is super easy and fun. And as you can see, I'm really not caring which colors go with what because it just all ends up being super cute when it's all together. So as you can see, my garland starting to form, which is super exciting. As you're doing your garland, you can see, like for instance, I'm measuring the top, and so this takes up the whole diameter. So you might wanna measure as you're going, just to make sure you don't make too big of one. Now's the fun part, you get to hang it, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take my command hooks. Once you got your command hooks up, you're supposed to wait an hour before you put any weight on them. I don't follow the directions, and so I just go ahead and put it on. <laughs> but just know, they do say that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take my loop, and I just put it on my command hook. And it's on. If your balloon garland's gonna be super long like mine, I would recommend adding this a little support in the middle. So that's what I'm gonna do with this command hook. And since there isn't given the string like there is at the beginning of the garlands, I'm just gonna bring a string up there and tie it around the command hook. I'm just gonna take my string and find just somewhere to loop it and tie it in a knot and then attach it to my command hook. I'm gonna show you how to finish off the end of this. So before I finish off the end, I always just like to make sure that it fits where I want it to go. And then that way if I need to add a few extra balloons or things like that, I can. So once I get to the end, I'm just gonna do the same thing as I did in the beginning. And I want that loop. So I'm gonna have a little bit of extra right here. And then I'm just going to loop this and tie it in a knot. This is a little bit long, but so. So I just go ahead and get it tied in a knot and then cut off any excess string. And then that way I have my loop that I can just put right up on that command hook again. And then if it's a little bit too long, you can go ahead and adjust it if you need to. So I got the top of the balloon garland done. I'm gonna do the two balloon garlands on the bottom. And then something I wanted to let you know is with balloon garlands, they usually last around five days. And so I always like to make mine the night before a party, but if you're on a time crunch or something like that, you can make it a few days in advance. I'm gonna go ahead and make the other two garlands and then I'm gonna show you the finished product. And I'm also gonna insert in here a little video of my daughter's birthday party that I did a couple weeks ago with a couple different balloon garlands just to give you a couple ideas on different things that you can do with them. Here 
there's the full balloon garland. So it was one garland here, one garland here, and one there. And then I added some extra at the bottom so it just had a little bit more character and detail. But there you go, that's the finished thing. I wanted to walk through how to figure out how many balloons you need. So for about every six feet of string, so like a six foot garland, I used 32 balloons or 16 pairs. So six feet is 32-ish balloons. I always recommend buying more balloons than you think you need because there's always some that end up popping and it's nice to have some extras because I ended up having extras so I put some balloons up here and it just makes it fun because then you can have balloons everywhere but it just depends on what kind of vibe and what you're going for but just know for about six feet it's 32 balloons. If you end up making a balloon garland tag me and let me see it. I'd love to see your projects and I'm super excited for you. Balloon garlands are super fun to make and I know once you start making one, you're gonna wanna make more and more and more because they are so much fun. For more party tricks and ideas and things like that, make sure to follow our channel, Hang With The Bangs, to get some more up-to-date information on fun parties and things that we have going on. Thanks for joining, talk to you later.